Have you ever felt caught in a no-win situation? Scylla and Charybdis, damned if you do, damned if you don't. A situation where no meritorious or moral solution is possible. One where you are forced on one side, even if you don't fully agree with what that side stands for. In a short, have you ever felt trapped? This is a phenomenon, or perhaps more accurately, a strategy, a tactic that I have dubbed the Great Spider's Web. spider's web is stronger than you may think. It is actually stronger than steel. It is adhesive, it has great tensile strength and flexibility, but it is inescapable when it is woven. However, in order for a spider web to function, it must be anchored to two opposite points. And that is the source of my analogy. The great spider's web is a world of false binaries. Uh, one such may be found in politics itself, in democratic nations such as the United States, where you have the left wing versus the right wing. They are not polar opposites. Indeed, if, for example, the American Eagle is banking left, the right wing is definitely coming with it. <laughs> oh, I mean, this wasn't such a good idea. I can't break loose. Well, anyway, um, the. Spider's web ensures that neither political or social, essentially man-made binary, is perfect. They are always too callous, too harsh, too cruel, too lacking in faith, too lacking in love, and indeed, the argument to which Slide has it is one that is difficult to win. When, for example, the fight is forced to adopt attitudes that are not terribly Christian, and thus they are what we are called Christo fascists. We are on the left, with its supposed empathy and love, is not possessing that most important love because they have abandoned God. As a programming technique, the Great Spider's Web utilizes various psychological elements, top grade, and the most significant and noteworthy to give up something, and especially to give up hope. determined by one of the polar sides of the great spider's web. You'd like me to bang away on the dog, is that it? This is a new spider has woven such an inescapable web. How do we get out? 
some of us may be strong or dexterous enough to break a few of the thinner strands, but for the most part, we need to be rescued. multi-layered. It is not an orb weaving its web between two twigs or branches. It is a tunnel spider's web. Something that is thicker the more extremely edge you go to. And that's the thinnest part center. Does that mean that we are to adopt centrist policies? No, because they are just different angles, different parts. Great spiders win. Rather, there is one center which I end on. The great spider will always try to force you into a position where you have to, in order to be true to what you believe, you seemingly have to adopt the tactics prescribed by it to defeat your enemy. It was the very tactic the devil used, tempting our Lord Christ in the desert. He was sent, that is to say, Christ was sent to save humankind, redeem us of sins which we could not successfully pay for ourselves, and fulfill the scriptures. So of course the devil used the scriptures against him. But knowing the truth, he countered, proving the illusory nature or potential undoing of such. Venomous techniques. And it is appropriate that I end with something representing or referencing Christianity. Because that's what this really is all about. Mark my words. When you have Christ, you have a center. When you adopt the established doctrines of the church and do not permit them to be changed by corrupt officials, or even my own work when I was less wise before I started this series. You will have your center and you will be able to do something that most in the great spider's web cannot. See the light at the end of the tunnel. Repenting, I have come to join your fight. I am the dark, I am the dark, I am the dark, but I'll help you.